When you're in the market for a new or remanufactured starter, look to a name you can trust. Bosch starters are the most reliable remanufactured starters available in the aftermarket. Bosch reman starters contain the highest percentage of new replacement components when compared to all other brands. All other components are 100% tested and inspected to verify that they meet Bosch recertification standards for reuse. Any components not meeting rigid Bosch standards are replaced with new components. After final assembly, every Bosch Reman starter is 100% full load tested to ensure that the product you purchase meets or exceeds OE standards for performance or overall service life. And installing a Bosch starter comes with peace of mind. Bosch offers competitive guarantees as well as the Bosch Ultimate Protection Program. This roadside assistance program features a free jump start or free towing for up to 50 miles if your vehicle breaks down. There are several signs that your starter might need to be replaced. The most common sign is turning the key to start the engine and all that can be heard is a click sound. However, this is a very similar sound to what may be heard if the battery is weak or not fully charged, so check the battery first. If the headlights are bright with the engine off but the engine cranks over slowly or not at all, you may have a starter problem. Before you begin the starter replacement process, the battery must be tested to ensure that it is fully charged and that it can maintain a charge. Bosch recommends Bosch branded battery testers. The battery needs to show a state of charge of at least 12.6 volts. If the battery is less than 12.6 volts, it needs to be recharged and retested or replaced with a new battery that is fully charged. If you don't know when the battery was replaced, now would be a good time to do that. In addition to testing the battery, a more thorough voltage drop test must be performed to ensure that the cables and cable connections between the battery and the starter and the rest of the charging system are good. If the battery is weak or cannot hold a charge, a good starter will not be able to crank the engine over at the required RPM to start the engine. Once it is confirmed that it is the starter that needs to be replaced, the next step is to determine which replacement starter to use. Visit BoschAutoParts.com to look up the correct starter for your vehicle. The tools required to replace your starter will vary depending on the make and model of your vehicle. You may need metric and SAE wrenches, socket and extension sets, a torque wrench, battery terminal tools, a battery cable cleaning tool, a battery memory minder, needle nose pliers, assorted screwdrivers, a wire brush, and safety glasses and gloves. A great deal of time and difficulty may be involved in replacing a starter, including the removal of other accessory components. However, this will vary by vehicle. Consult a service manual for your vehicle prior to beginning the removal process to identify any additional tools or steps required. When working on any part of a vehicle's electrical system, safety is always a primary concern. To ensure your own safety and to avoid damaging your vehicle, make sure that the engine is off and that the key is removed from the ignition. On computer-controlled vehicles, it is a good idea to install a memory minder device in the vehicle's cigarette lighter or power outlet. This will keep the engine control unit, or ECU, powered up when the battery is disconnected and ensure all electronic presets are maintained. Disconnect negative and positive cables at battery. Failure to do so may result in damage to the vehicle's electrical system. If you are working on the ground, always properly support the vehicle and set the emergency brake. Remove any dust or debris shields shrouding the starter. Identify, tag, or mark each wire to ensure proper connection during installation of the replacement starter. From beneath the vehicle, loosen the mounting bolts and disconnect all connectors and wires from the starter. Starters are heavy, so be sure to properly support it while removing the mounting bolts and nuts. Tilt or rotate the starter to clear the flywheel as you pull it away from the vehicle. Inspect the flywheel and ring gear for warpage or damaged gear teeth. Replace these components if necessary. Check the condition of the starter that has been removed. Any excess fluids present in the starter or excessive wear to the pinion gear are indicators that other problems exist within the vehicle that must be addressed or repaired at the same time as the starter to ensure long life and proper performance of the replacement starter. If the original starter was installed with shims, use the shims packaged with each unit. This is vital to proper engagement of the starter. Before you begin any installation, it is recommended that you reference and read through any installation notices that come in the box with your replacement starter. Reconnect the starter wires.
Properly position the starter in the mounting location and ensure that the mounting surface of the starter is flush with the engine mounting surface. Install the replacement starter with the original mounting hardware. Charge the battery, clean both battery terminals, inspect and clean battery cables, and reconnect the battery. Now turn the ignition key on and crank the engine briefly. Listen to verify the starter gear is engaging and releasing properly without abnormal noises. To properly dispose of a used starter, return it to the retailer where you purchased the replacement unit. When buying a starter, a core charge is typically assessed, which will be refunded with the return. To find your local source for high-quality Bosch automotive products, visit our website at boschautoparts.com. For professional assistance with your auto repair needs, contact an independently owned and authorized Bosch Car Service Repair Shop. Visit boschcarservice.us to find one near you.